Good afternoon. This is Kenneth Tortoise Capital. A quick review of the trading plan and some case studies from today. This is um, early entries into SPY. Uh, closed in a sideways quiet channel. Breakout hybrid frog in the usual manner. Um, and then the possibilities for a short that we were looking at uh, uh, right around here looking for targets of 1, 2, and 3 based on MACD rollover and um, RSI 10 rollover, courtesy of Bob. Uh, here was a swing trade frame in uh, WWW on the basis of testing this um, uh, swing low and a breakdown with a rollover in the winter. Uh, so the winter spring failed in the winter that makes this perfect choice for a move down to the green line and then down to the belly of the dragon and falling over on the RSI 10 as well. So three W's uh, for swing trading potential. This one's a quick look at a uh, swing setup and sprint on the short side. So we have long measured move, sideways quiet channel, but then collapsing. PSAR has flipped over, breakdown of the previous uh, of the dragon. Um, and then the spring has become the fall and then fallen back here. So this is uh, where RSI weakness gives you an alert that it's the downside. So we can at least go back and test the swing low. So sprint is ripe for the plucking. This one is a form of market classification where we're looking at uh, cumulative four-week new highs and new lows. You put the RLCO framework on it in a MACD four seasons histogram. And you notice from the basis of new highs and new lows that when you are below the zero line of MACD histogram, as you would expect, um, things are getting weak all across the board. And then PSAR flip time, this is a time when strength is coming back into the market, getting a lot more new highs and new lows. And this gives you some ideas about how to come to inflection points and be ready for breakouts in either direction. But you can think of this as another way to do tactical market assessment uh, based on market breadth and then using statistics of MACD histogram and RLCO to guide your uh, forecast of what the reasonable future looks like. Here's a quick look at the daily market health check. Um, so you see the 30 period, the 10 period trading frame. So that's still in, in vogue. Yellow is uh, today's high to low. So it found support at the VWAP and the um, RL270. That's the least surprising behavior of all. Then you get a massive one day directional move. It was all an 80% signal today back up to previous support levels um, where it held steady. So the trade frame for tomorrow looks like auto long here, auto short here. We're above the Monday opening. Uh, we're still in the winter, so it's one day tactical uh, orientation, but the uh, test of the swing high is still the upside reasonable move. Test of the 10 day low and 30 day low reasonable move. And as long as that's above the 270, then we're still in bullish, uh, but slowly recovering. Um, one day uh, volatile moves is what we're still looking for. This was the magnitude of that intraday move. Um, and then we, we got three positions into this, cashed, re-entered, cashed, and then really nothing else the rest of the day. There, when we tried this breakout from the uh, Z3 super pinch, there wasn't much follow through and it was getting close to the end of the day. So the move was in the early posture, being ready and prepared. And then uh, stable above the VWAP, let's see what the follow on interpretation of news would be. Equally likely to have a big move in either direction tomorrow based on the news cycle. So keep your wrist measured and your powder dry.